Hey guys, Kipo here. Uh, I'm just wanting to do a quick review again on another book. This one's called History's Worst Inventions by Eric Charlene. Charlene, I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's it's a very interesting book uh, to say the least. It, I'll, I'll go into why it is such an interesting book, particularly if you're in, interested in, in inventions or inventing or that, that sort of thing, the progress of inventions, Thomas Edison, that, uh, that, that sort of thing. It's a very unusual book because I don't, I'm not sure how many books have actually been written on the negatives of inventions and the negatives of technology, really. Um, it, and it, it's a very unique way of looking at it because so many inventions we've, we've had have really destroyed our our society whether it be leaded paint whether it be uh, nicotine and this these are the sorts of inventions this book goes into uh, it goes it covers a vast vast range of inventions and and ideas it kind of annoys me it goes a little bit into idea ideas and ideals such as uh, Scientology um, it's funny they, they list that in there as one of the worst inventions. Uh, DDT, um, so various inventions like that. Probably a lot you've never even heard of, uh, but a lot of them you you would have heard of. Um, things things like opium. Uh, yeah, it's it's really amazing how many inventions have actually uh, been used for various. They were not used as as their inventors originally uh, intended them to be. The, the well, one of the, the, because there's so many different uh, reasons why they are the worst inventions, the, the reasons for failing uh, in this, this little, each, each page is only a few, few pages, each, sorry, uh, section is only a few pages long. Um, it's a little bit like it's a very modern book. It's a little bit like this Wikipedia articles on each on each subject. So you can go off and do your own in depth, more in depth reach research. Uh, basically, that so that that uh, rating, I guess. Well, it's not a rating. It's it, it's the reasons why it, it is the one of history's worst inventions. So out of these out of these reasons, the reasons are. It never got off the drawing board, so maybe it was it didn't just didn't work. Which, yeah, it didn't work in practice. Uh, it killed its inventor. It was a commercial failure. It had unforeseen consequences and was used for evil ends. And it was a success born of failure. So maybe we could, uh, like, for example, landmines was so it was used for evil ends. Uh, we'll go through a couple more just to uh, just just to show you guys how they they'll vary up. Um, biological warfare once again was used for evil evil ends. I'll try and find another one. A lot of them have uh, seem to be used for evil ends. Um, oops. The atmospheric railway. Railway. Uh, that seemed like a. Re that was a very interesting, interesting article where that that that's a big a picture of what it should have been looking like in 1871. It, that, that if if you don't know about the atmospheric railway, that's very interesting. And it because it didn't work in practice, it didn't work in practice, and it was a commercial failure. So. <laughs> If you're under, wondering why we don't have atmospheric railways, uh, it, it didn't work in practice. So there's there's quite a few uh, inventions that you don't really look at. In you, I've always tended to look at inventions as a way of helping humanity, as a way, as, as something that that is for the benefit of humanity. But this book really does show that some inventions aren't necessarily for the benefit of humanity and they have taken on a life of its own and it's been used for, for, for really evil ends or to, to, to make people easy money for people to get rich 
um, imagine if you could capitalize off an invention like the cigarette. If you could invent a cigarette today and and sell it and capitalize in on it, what you would you'd be a bill, you'd be a, a multi-billionaire. It's so there are a lot of inventions that that have really not helped humanity, and it's kind of interesting to see that that that's that's all they are. They they were just poor inventions that have should should have been swept under the rug, but uh, for some, for reasons. Re reasons that are just often often just silly that uh, for example uh, opium things like that that they're, they've tended to take over our lives and they've become a problem um, when when all it was was a backyard inventor or somebody in the 1800s that, that made a simple concoction of uh, and, it, and it's taken off same as fizzy drinks say there's a lot of of inventions in our day and age that aren't aren't the best for us and this this book really does show that there that there is um, that there isn't always benefits in in every invention that, that sometimes the worst inventions can can end up making the biggest impact on the world for example, look at the the switchblade knife. Look how many death, deaths that has brought, and gunpowder. Um, if we could go back in time and not invent guns, how the hell different would the world be? Not that not that I'm for or against gun gun control or anything like that. It it, it just shows that it really is an in invention. Um, same the same with biological warfare. The, uh, it makes us really wonder that sometimes if we will be the demise of our own invention of if, if maybe we haven't yet made an invention that that <coughs> that will take over the world I, I know methamphetamine so surely coming to our shores that's becoming a new problem um, and it's kind of pushed away heroin and it's pushed away all the old drugs I really wonder what the next big big drug will be or, it's, or, or what the next invention will be if they, if they can remake the, the cigarette or if they can remake make something to get us addicted or ways for us to fight war or um, even even the landmine what a what a horrible horrible invention that has been and it's and it's killed millions it's it, it has killed millions and I, I, I do give the author quite a lot of credit for for showing that this showing that side of inventions that that sometimes they aren't always for the best and they aren't always the the best ideas. Um, even even talking about borrow, borrowing and lending on mortgages and the financial crash, the global recession. That's that's another invention that that. We, we created ourselves that was just a terrible terrible idea and we should never have let it get that far um, so it, it the, the book was written in 2009 so as, as I mentioned earlier it is a fairly new new novel and it's it's written in a format that's that's fairly uh, it's fairly fairly well written a little bit like a, a Wikipedia in a book um, and I forgot to mention that, as well. It's the main, the main for each each chapter. I think there's there's about 50, 50 chapters or so, maybe sixty chapters. Um, for each chapter, it will say uh, the main culprits of of the of the invention. Who, uh, for example, this one's biological warfare. The main culprits were the mil military. The motivation were power and glory. That that can be. Uh, that's debatable, and the de damage done is death and injury to millions. And we can it can keep on going on like that. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty amazing, and a lot of it seems to be greed and commercial commercial venture. Even it talks about the flying car, um, for example, that. that there, it's the flying car, and why it, why it didn't work. 
you know, we, this this one was a commercial venture. Uh, the damage done was not not at all, um, but it did kill it. It did kill its inventor. A few people tr died trying to make a flying car. So it, once again, where where we often fail, but it, it sets the road for for future future paths. And it's, as it says on the back here, it says, "I haven't failed. I've found ten thousand ways that don't work." And it's a quote by Thomas Edison. Um, so that uh, uh, when he was trying to invent the light bulb, I believe it doesn't doesn't say that. But that's when he was trying to invent the filament filament for the light bulb. They said, "How did you invent it?" And he he, he didn't. He, he used about ten thousand different <laughs> ways to to experiment and to invent the, the filament for the light bulb. So he says, "I, I haven't failed one one time. I haven't failed ten thousand times." It's it's I've just found ten thousand ways that don't work, and I often apply that to life. And even when I'm playing a chess game or something like that, I'll go, "All right, that didn't work. I, I found a way to lose." <laughs> this is this, it's like in chess. There's billions of ways you can find that don't don't work. Uh, ten thousand ways to to find that just don't work, and it's not it's not at all failing. E each time you get you get better. So. That that's a good euphemism for life. It's a good uh, it's a good yeah mo motto for life. Sort of if you can't if you can't make it work, just keep trying. Um, so yeah, this these are sorry. There is it does say on the back. There's there's 50, 50 inventions in that are the worst inventions to mankind. Um, there, there is another one. Another book. I believe there's another few books. Uh, this one's called the worst histories. There's another one called history's worst decisions. Uh, I think there's another one, history's worst digital ideas as well. Um, so yeah, the, it, it's a pretty, it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty good book. I, I would recommend it. What, sh what should I give it? I'll give it four stars. Four, I'll give it four stars. I would have given it five if it was a bit more in depth and it was a bit more, uh, a bit more serious because it does seem a bit like a sort of. It can be read by all ages. <laughs> I'll give it. It's a good book for teenagers. It's a good book for even kids to adults. To uh, anybody can read it. It's 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 an entertaining book. It hasn't been written for very serious in depth looks into the history's worst inventions but I, I think it's a great idea and I really wish it would be elaborated on uh, because it, it feels like it's an entire area of science that has not yet has not yet been discovered properly or recognized properly enough the, the, the negative inventions and the, the worst inventions of history and of our time and uh, hopefully people can stop making them. <laughs> Um, yeah, is there anything else I'd like to say about that book? The worst, the worst invention in the book. It's 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 hard to put a, it's hard to put a toll on that. It's like a cigarettes, cigarettes the worst invention, or a nuclear bomb's the worst invention. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's Scientology is that the worst invention? I'll, I'll leave it up to you. <laughs> if you if you guys have read it, uh, feel free to throw down the worst the worst invention you've you've heard in in the comments, or feel free to subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to stay around for any future book reviews I'll do. Uh, see you guys. Uh, yeah, it's it's really amazing how many inventions have actually. Uh, being used for various, they were not used as as their inventors originally uh, intended them to be. The the well, one of the the because there's so many different uh, reasons why they are the worst inventions. The the reasons for failing uh, in this this little each each page is only a few few pages each sorry uh, section is only a few pages long um, it's a little bit like it's a very modern book it's a little bit like this 
Wikipedia articles on each on each subject, so you can go off and do your own in depth, more in depth reach research. Uh, basically, that so that that uh, rating, I guess, or well, it's not a rating; it's it, it's the reasons why it, it is the one of history's worst inventions. So, out of these out of these reasons, the reasons are it never got off the drawing board, so maybe it was it didn't just didn't work, which yeah, it didn't work in practice. Uh, it killed its inventor. It was a commercial failure. It had unforeseen consequences and was used for evil ends. And it was a success born of failure. So maybe we could, uh, like, for example, landmines was so it was used for evil ends. Uh, we'll go through a couple more just to. Uh, just, just to show you guys how they they'll vary up. Um, hey guys, Kibo here. Uh, I'm just wanting to do a quick review again on another book. This one's called History's Worst Inventions by Eric Charlene. Charlene, I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's it's a very interesting book uh, to say the least. It, I'll, I'll go into why it is such an interesting book, particularly if you're in, interested in, in inventions or inventing or that, that sort of thing, the progress of inventions, Thomas Edison, that, uh, that, that sort of thing. It's a very unusual book because I don't, I'm not sure how many books have actually been written on the negatives of inventions and the negatives of technology, really. Um, and it, it's a very unique way of looking at it because so many inventions we've we've had have really destroyed our our society. Whether it be leaded paint, whether it be uh, nicotine, and this these are the sorts of inventions this book goes into. Uh, it goes it covers a vast vast range of inventions at, and. And ideas, it kind of annoys me, it goes a little bit into idea, ideas and ideals such as uh, Scientology. Um, it's funny, they, they list that in there as one of the worst inventions. Uh, DDT, um, so various inventions like that, probably a lot you've never even heard of. Uh, but a lot of them you, you would have heard of. Um, things, things like opium. Biological warfare once again was used for evil evil ends. I'll try and find another one. A lot of them have uh, seem to be used for evil ends. Um, oops. The atmospheric railway. Railway. Uh, that seemed like a re that was a very interesting interesting article where that that that's a big a picture of what it should have been looking like in. 1871. It, that, that if if you don't know about the atmospheric railway, that's very interesting, and it because it didn't work in practice, it didn't work in practice, and it was a commercial failure. So, that, if you're under wondering why we don't have atmospheric railways, 